Hello everyone, Simon here. We're playing Tropical 5. Um, let's continue the uh, campaign. <laughs> We've been time traveling. I've been thinking about this uh, little gimmick here. And uh, the last mission implies that everything is falling apart. Although my island was not exactly falling apart, although the people were unhappy. But it wasn't exactly falling apart. Oh, I've seen this before. But I think in terms of um, like game design, it's an interesting a little narrative trick to get you to reset. Because if if this is the first time you've played this game, which it kind of is for me, I've played Tropical 4, this is the first time I've played Tropical 5. It's quite similar, but there's like more content. Um, so if it's like your first time playing, you probably mess up your first island or two. And to be honest, like the island I was playing, it wasn't really planned out that well because I didn't really know what to expect later on in the game. And so the reset, like turning back time, the reset allows you to like do it again better. And I guess uh, like from a narrative point of view, like okay well you destroy the world, you just try again. But from like a gameplay point of view, it allows the player to take all the things they've learned because we've gone through like each era, right? There's the colonial era and then there's the the, the World War era, and then there's the Cold War era, and then there's the Modern era. Is that it? Yeah, and then... And then, like, once you've gone through all that, you can, like, play again, and you would plan ahead for the future next time. Right? Like, like next time, maybe I would, like, have houses on two sides, and then, like, services in the middle, with space for future expansion of services. Because, like, now that I know how like vaguely roughly how much services I need eventually I would know like approximately how much space I would leave for the services if that makes sense if I'm gonna like build the whole thing again anyway let's go ahead this mission is the pirate king export large amounts of gold at low price not sure what the difference is do we have elevation look at this one Puerto Coco do you see that can we, like, go up that slope? Uh, the last two games, the island was basically flat. They were, like, hills, but you couldn't build on the hills. And then, like, stuff like... Greetings, Tropico. Okay, you can't I build I come things. from the future. I've traveled back in time to stop the coming apocalypse and save the world. <laughs> of course, I'll need a new island to do so. Immediately noticing my amazing leadership skills, the Crown quickly agreed to appoint me governor of a fledgling colony. Ironically, I was given a choice between Puerto Coco and Ila Rojo, our old enemies. I need a plan to stop Leon Kane, but first I should get my bearings and reacquaint myself with these times. Yeah, I see there you go. The parking! Welcome to the Caribbean, Governor. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. Have we met before? Anyway, your first task is to rescue the Crown Prince who has sadly been captured by pirates. The Dread Pirate Roberts demands a ransom in gold or he threatens to cut off his nose and use it as a coat hanger. <laughs> Wow, we're making fun of the size of his nose. Okay. <laughs> you should start exporting gold ore as soon as possible. Take note that since the gold ores, the gold, the gold goes to the pirates, you will not earn the usual profits from the exports until the ransom has been paid. Export 5,000 gold ore. Gold ore price lowered until ransom is paid. All right. And of course, in terms of the narrative, the campaign started with Isla Rojo and uh, Co Puerto Coco trying to stop us, right? They were trying to stop us for some reason. They were attacking us for some reason. And now that we're back in time, we can see that, no, it's it's the future us trying to stop the past us, trying to stop past Leon Kane. <laughs> so, the, so the story, the story is this, this time loop. Right, so now we have an island like this. I'm thinking maybe, ah, uh, should I industry here? Like, should I industry here? 
and then like farms here and then keep the city here for example like now that I know what to expect kind of I can think ahead and can we get across to this side of the island no right there's actually not very much space on this island and no we can't get up there either uh, none of that is particularly important what is that let's figure out what these mines are so the first thing I want to do is explore out here so we're gonna like walk down a line explore out here what is this okay well, why can't I click on it you can't click on it when you when you paused okay this is corn plantation all right we started with some food first thing we want to do is plantations uh, they've started out with houses here which I think I will continue this pattern of putting the houses maybe here houses services and then houses again probably maybe like a uh, government buildings here and then like industry and pollution far away somewhere and then expand farms all right so we want a mine obviously oh, never mind we don't have a mine we need a library to research okay so now that we know that libraries don't actually need to be next to anything we can just like stick the libraries out near a cliff somewhere, right? Well, the libraries don't produce pollution, so maybe we should put them closer to this to the city because the pollution stuff we want to put further out. Well, no. Let's stick that there. And like this is awkward, the fact that this just goes straight in there. All right, this is this is kind of awkward. All right, let's do that. And then plantations. Oh, bananas are good there. It's a little bit awkward. This space here. All right, stick bananas there. We might like because this is so close to it. At, at the start we will put the farms close to here but as we expand the city we'll move the farms out I think it doesn't cost that much to demolish them and replant them so we can like uh, coca, coffee, corn I just have more corn corn is easy easy food corn Cotton pineapples. It's a bit yellow here, but it's fine. Sugar, tobacco. Do we want to like back to back? Okay, what what fits well here? I'm almost out of money. Bananas don't fit there, cocoa don't fit there, coffee. A decent cash crop. Corn, cotton, it's okay here, but we, it's, it's uh, out in unexplored territory. That's a shame. Cotton. Did I have sugar? Yes. All right, so uh, let's do that for now. We might, after exploring down here, we might explore back out this way see what that oh these two mines are yeah that, that'll do let's go ahead and join that up go ahead and come down here
Join that up, join that up. See the planning is already much better than previous maps. Oh, that's all good. Uh never mind what I just said. <laughs> uh demolish. Demolish. You can't demolish Greetings, it. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As Crown Representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Uh, let me start with the silver package. We don't need additional trading offers. Right, pause again. Road. What the heck? Okay, there. Probably not the most efficient way to build that. Um, pineapples, exporting pineapples, that's not bad. Well, it's 180 bucks extra over the base price. Wool, tobacco, these are decent. Oh, these are the smugglers. Let's, um, maybe not export to smugglers. Alright, never mind. So, like, food first. And then we think about forestry, mining. As you know, His Majesty is fond of setting fire to things. He has decided to build the world's largest bonfire and needs all the wood he can get. Alright, all colonial governors are hereby ordered to begin logging operations for His Majesty's bonfire. Carry out His Majesty's wishes and you'll be rewarded with an extension to your mandate as well as other benefits. Alright, let's have that. So my dynasty is... Sweet. So we're gonna come in here with uh, pretty much a maxed out dynasty. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, put our dynasty to work, shall we? General. Union leader. Magnates. Mining all buildings effectiveness. This is island wide, right? You don't have to put it in the actual. actual mining building. Alright, let's get the research going right away, I guess. <laughs> Approval is 15%. Why are they going that way? They follow the roads? Really? Oh, he's, they're not gonna see this, are they? Oh, I should. I could use some fish. You know what? Let me just uh, let the things get built a bit at a time. I wish they didn't follow the road. Because now they're going to come from there to there and they're going to miss this mine. Fight foreign worker. You know what? Let's just max that out. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. <laughs> we need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new stuff. I just did. I just did, lady. Oh, you know what? Whatever. Oh, wait, it completed. Oh, sweet, it counts. <laughs> it said new library. But I guess that counts. Well, you know what? Maybe what I can do is not start the next expedition. Not start the next exploration thing. 
and let these guys maybe like go go do they go straight back or do they go back to the road now? I really want to see what that line is. Uh, research mines and then upgrades and then lumber mill and then that and then newspaper things. That is a gold mine. I expect that's a gold mine too. Where's that boat? The boat should be here. They're going back to the road, they're gonna miss this. <laughs> wait, wait, they're getting closer. Nope, they're getting... Are they, are they gonna see this? Are they gonna see this? Uh, almost. You... A coal mine, interesting. I thought that was a coal mine too. Alright, my guys have built this. Great. Job quality 43. And what I can do is... Uh, plus 20 general manager. Wait, it's not... It's not, uh... It's only for a building. It's only for one building, it's not for everything. Okay, well, let me, um... Fire. Fire. Union leader specific, specifically says... I think Union Leader specifically says it's island-wide. Well, maybe it's not. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't I have a... Oh no, I lost one of my guys, that's right. Didn't one of my Dynasty members get killed? <laughs> Union Leader... Actually, no. No, okay, there's a building thing and there's a global effect. Okay, I see, they did two separate things. Global effects, okay, oh I see. There's the local effect and there's the global effect. Okay, I see. I misunderstood that. So, the global effects... They don't need a... Uh, they don't need to be assigned. Alright, start research. Very good. Two thousand two hundred bucks. I have no money, so I'm just gonna like take this slowly, right? Crown sent me five thousand. Thank Did you. You know that there are treasures buried on our island. We should investigate. <laughs> A strange man-looking man came up to me yesterday and sold me this genuine treasure map. It points to hidden riches just beneath the surface of Tropical. You should ask our scientists to devise a way for us to extract these treasures from the ground. Research the shovel. Okay. Sounds fine to me. Well, we can expand, keep expanding the farms this way. If we want more stuff to export. Logging camp. Do you think that's enough logs? Like just in this area? There are quite a few trees here. Your family's rather rollicking love life has led to an unexpected pregnancy. Ah, uh, as any other, other important birth, the event will grab the attention of people far and wide. It may even cause some controversy. How should we attend with this, Presidente? Organize a quick wedding. Build a new Catholic mission in nine months. Pay to keep things quiet. 5,000 bucks. I like a good scandal. Acknowledge the child minus 10 royalist relations. 
I mean, we're gonna eventually build a Catholic mission anyway, right? How much is a Catholic mission? 2,000? 2,000. Pineapples output, corn output, corn output, banana output. Alright, the goal is to export money, export for money. Do we have fisheries? We do have fisheries. What's there? 1,600, it's not a lot, right? Thanks to your efforts. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. I'm gonna import. Like I'm not gonna worry about our the, research uh, team. That is to say, me discovered the shovel forty times. If I, I'm not gonna worry about my Swiss bank account. We're gonna need to start exporting gold. That's pretty awkward. I want to build the... Uh... Walking camp. Somewhere around here. Maybe, maybe closer in? 